can just move forward with it. As I take on Golden. Ready to save the game. Hi-ya. Hi, Golden. Hey, Redris, tell me, you got a little stronger? Yep. I'll demonstrate it. Alright, let's go. Let's get this going. He's got two Pokemon. Sent out as Starly. Against my Bidoof. He's gonna quick attack a lot, so I'm probably gonna lose Bidoof here. But I might swap to... Don't get cocky, this isn't over yet. Sure. I might swap Bidoof out, just so he doesn't get taken down. I'll take one... I guess I'll... I'll go until I take one more attack. He's not taking out my defense, so I shouldn't take a huge amount of damage from him. But I'm also not going to be able to tap too much against him either. Start with used Growl. Tackle. I will tackle you until I win this, if you're going to keep doing this, because I only need one crit now. If you're going to keep growling at me, I will crit you. Use tackle. Yep, you used quick attack. Alright. I think I can manage one more hit. You're gonna quick attack, that's fine. Alright, there's where the cutoff is. And we will swap to my Starly, actually. My Starly probably will outspeed his. Even with a quick attack. Or with quick attack. Oh wow, six damage. Quick attack. Boom. There we go. There's the even footing we needed. Bidoof gained 42 experience. That's a lot. Trainer Pokemon definitely give more. Starly gained 42. Piplop, switch to Bidoof again. I think we're gonna switch off of Bidoof though, just because I think this is gonna be like level 13. Yep, it is a level 13? Oh, it's level nine Piplop. That's not as bad. We'll swap into Krikatot. And with Krikatot... Oh, you're gonna growl at me. Okay. I guess I will bide with Krikatot. His strategy is just to keep me from hurting his Pokémon. Apparently. Yep, he's just gonna growl at me until my Pokémon are dead. Oh, growl at me until my Pokémon are no longer able to damage his. But we're gonna sit here and bide while he growls at me, because Krikatot doesn't know anything else. Storing energy, yep. Hit. Please, there we go. Those Piplup used Growl. I don't think my damage, like my attack, is affected by the Growl when it's bide. Got a storing energy. Use Pound again. I think this will end Piplup. Yeah, there we go. Like, Bide's not a terrible attack, it's just not the best. I'd rather be able to do damage over take damage. Like, not take damage to do damage. Krikatot leveled up. And player defeated Trainer Golden. What just happened? You lost? You did. You definitely did. What do you mean I lost? 
This is the last time I'll ever lose. I'm gonna be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on Orberg City Gym. Which, again, is not gonna be easy with the team I have put together. Aside from maybe giving someone Rock Smash. Because I know you get it as an HM. Actually, I know you get it as an HM in the cave that we're headed towards. Hey, Abra. That's neat. I don't think it's worth trying to attack him, but... Yeah, he is faster. Abra is a speedy little bugger. But what I wanted was a Pokemon to battle. Just to get some status and levels. I'd imagine I thought they would be like level 5, 6 here, but 4, man. Need to use Tackle. Yeah, the Growl strategy really didn't work out for him. <laughs> I'm out of water. Whose attack fell, be defused tackle. I don't know why I'm just repeating what is going on on the screen. We're just doing this. I, I forgot to do that. I'm gonna do it real quick, but... All in all, that's fine. If you tackle... This is gonna be like 20 experience or some odd. 32, that's not bad. Although, I expected it to close more of a gap. It's hard to grind in this game, apparently. Which in itself is not a huge personal issue, it's just... Hey, it's happening. We're waiting. We restored your Pokemon into full health. We hope to see you again. Alright, let's go take on that trainer that I saw over here. You. Because the Pokemon don't seem to be worth the battle. He has a Krikatot and a Zubat. A Zubat can be a definite pain in the butt. Does, well, yeah, Krikatot has Growl and Bide. That's about it here. Attack missed. We'll just put Chimchar in. Chimchar should be able to out the Krikatot pretty easily. You know what I'm really happy about is I'm not seeing any disconnect on anything today. Which last like for a while when I started playing in the one of the older versions, I saw a lot of this disconnected, that disconnected. So it's nice to see just clean as we are. Super effective. Those Krakatot fainted. Bidoof gained 40, Chimchar gained 40. Yeah, trainers are, one, definitely better to fight for experience, but they seem to give a lot. Chimchar learned Taunt. And then Zubat. Which Pokemon? I'll put Bidoof back out. And we'll fight Zubat with Bidoof. And if Bidoof faints, we'll swap to Shanks. I just thought Chimchar needed a little bit of sunlight. And fight Tackle. Zubat used Supersonic, and it missed. That's good. I don't remember if Stat. Like, stat buffs. I know stat this ailments don't fall off when you swap Pokemon. Hmm. 
What am I doing now? I also need... well... If I had more days to stream, I would probably stream more games. Like, I want to play Hades, but I also am at a point where I have four games for four days of streaming. And I might skip one day every so often. Like, every game I buy that I intend on playing, I weigh whether or not it's worth streaming. And so far, most of them have been. Like, nothing I've played has gone super high in views or super low. It's just kind of this consistency of up and down. Which is fine. It's about fainted. Cool, Bidoof got 69. Nice. Level 8. My nose is bothering me. Give me a second. Alright, I'm back. I just had to blow my nose. 96. Hey, what was this? Retro, retro Jake Koss. Wait, Retro Jate Koss. Followed you. Thank you for the follow, bud. How are you doing today? Switch to Shanks and we will continue playing. Found a Pokeball, free Pokeball, that's nice. Hi. Your Pokemon should be placed. Chat disconnected and reconnected you at some point. That's a bummer. You yeah, it's been like an hour since we've had conversation going on in chat, so I don't think you've missed much. The last thing is me talking like uh, Rogalf replying to me about talking about how kind of to build competitive Pokemon lists. He stepped away. Oh, it's Shinx on Shinx action. This is fun. Shinx and Shinx took another shower. Is it that dirty at your place, or are you just in a bad situation? Long hair, gotcha. I get it. I have very long... oh. I got a haircut about six months ago, so my hair has gotten a lot longer since. But I also need to... Like, I need to get it trimmed so I can get the hair on my neck cleaned up, because it feels weird. Like, on the back of my neck. And I can't do it myself, because I will mess it up. Like, I finally trimmed my beard after a while, but I need to... I should have gone to the barber to get the whole shebang at once. Shinx. Wow. Shinx is doing good. For level 8. Dallas. Right, how's my team looking? Level 8s and 9s. We're finally hitting the stride, hopefully. Like, between every gym, there's going to be this big gap of training montage, but hey. Oh wow, six years without a cut. I don't think I could do that, like, my hair is not just, like, when my hair is long it gets really curly, so I like getting it at least trimmed and shaped and cleaned up, just because it looks a lot nicer when you do stuff like that. But it does grow out faster if you don't get it cut, so, like, there's the balance of how you want to do it. I also get cheap haircuts because my, well, not even family. I go to a place that I've been going to for about 10 years now. Well, same group of ladies that do it. 
but they've been doing it for about 10 years, and I just go to them constantly. Hey, it's Machop. Like, my sister and aunt are both hairstylists, and I don't go to them. Even though I could get it done for free from either of them. I just prefer something like that. Uh, curls at the very end, I get that. Like, when mine is long, it'll curl up at the end. So it's like, it curls right around where my ear is sometimes. Kind of frustrating. But, I have been likened to... More recent, like, I've gotten better about washing my hair since high school. Like, in high school, yes, I would wash my hair, but I would not wash it correctly. I would just, you know, soap in, scrub, soap out. What you're supposed to do, from what I've learned, is you're supposed to let it sit for a little bit. So the soap gets in and just kind of properly gets into the clean. So, scrub your hair, then do body stuff, let it all sit for a minute, then rinse yourself is what I've kind of come to understand. Oh, I put out Bidoof against him a chop. That was dumb. That's fine, though. Cricketot. Once most of this team has some actual fighting moves, we'll be good to go, I hope. You're gonna leer at me. Come on. I needed you to hit me. Use leer. Do hair rinse, conditioner, body rinse. Yeah. Like, I need to get conditioner again. It'd probably help. But so far, I'm good on my hair. Like, it's... Not, not it, well, not all the time. Like, I need to get mine trimmed out because the back of it is getting to the point where it knots up. Come on. Critical, not very effective. Unleashed energy, and a Machop is down. Who's Machop fainted? Cricketot gained 127 experience. Nice. Play defeated youngster Sebastian. Are you not ready for the gym challenge yet? Yeah, I would say so. Alright, Krikatot is actually proving to be a useful Pokemon, which is good. Oh, hi. Hello, lady. Found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Alright. But yeah. I'm honestly happy that a lot of the games that got pushed back did get pushed back, just so I could play some other games on top of things. Because, like, Monster Hunter is probably going to take me until the end of February. Uh, Destiny, I might be playing through to the end of the season. I'm almost to level 50 on the season pass, which is not bad. Hey, you're sending out a Starly. Not bad for me, in general. Yeah, you get a lot more experience from even these trainer Pokémon. Yeah, I just... I need to be able to have room for certain games now, too. Like, I might not play Season 10 of Destiny. It all depends on what's coming out around that time. Like, we might even swap to... We talked about it yesterday. I mean, Zach might even swap that day into playing some World of Warcraft because of how they're making changes to the new World of Warcraft stuff. So essentially, you get to play each expansion pack as if it's a standalone thing, instead of you have to go through all of these things to get to one point. 
which I think will do it better. Hey, Abra, cool. Like, in the long run, I think that'll do better for it. And each one is capped at level 60, and you can, I think, create a character for each one. Yeah, so from what Zack was explaining to me yesterday, and I'll have to put some effort into studying it myself, but now they're moving to where each expansion pack is kind of sec secular to itself. They each sit within their own kind of realm. Which is not bad in the long run. So you can play the first expansion, the base of Classic WoW, on one character. Then I think on a second character you could play the secondary third and... Just ditch the final bit of Warlords of Draenor. Yeah. Like, I think that's part of what they're doing, though, because I think from my understanding is... Yeah, Battle for Azeroth. I think what it is is we're getting the Battle for Azeroth stuff, but they're also doing other things. A lot of it I get mixed up, because I keep thinking Warlords of Draenor, was the uh, Pandaria expansion, but it's not. Ooh, this is not a great battle to have. But we will scratch this Psyduck to death. Yeah. And yeah, I will put more information out there as I learn it, but... In the end, battle f we may end up playing WoW as... We may end up playing a version of WoW. Or a couple different ones, depending. And I think all of the stat trees might work differently. I'm not sure there. And I... But, like, you can just... It'll, I think it'll be interesting. And I would imagine you would have to start a level 10 Death Knight, which would be also inter- or a level 1 Death Knight, instead of a level 50 in that pack. Which, I want to play the Lich Guard pack if we do get into it again. Because I think the Lich Guard- not Lich Guard, Lich King pack was the best. Quality-wise, and that's about where I got started, so I'm kind of biased there. <laughs> but also, I'd like to, if we're going to play it for a long time, play each expansion pack. And play a different type of character each time. Like, be able to swap between Horde and Alliance as we move up into stuff. Yeah, it would also be cool if they did all of the achievements, too. It's all questionable, though, because we don't know where they're going with it. Ugh. Stretch. Um, Starly using Growl doesn't help me. It, yeah, it all depends on how it works. Unleashed energy, but it failed. Use tackle. Oh no. I do need to do a Nuzlocke run of something someday, just to get the interest drummed up for it. Yeah, Classic WoW just seems to be what it was. Classic WoW. Like, it's vanilla WoW. It's not something... 
special. It's just playing old WoW, and people people on old WoW are dicks. People on new WoW are dicks too, but lesser. Oh, new. Hey, there's another cricket hunt. I think I got to around level 30 in Classic WoW. But I think essentially they're all going to become like that. Yeah, like, it got old fast, especially, like, I had to play a lot of it alone. And I played some of it on stream, it's just... Even then, I didn't have anyone to play alongside, because regardless of anything... Everyone I seem to play with plays a lot more of WoW than I do. Like I, mi like, I mix games. I play multiple games and kind of play them on top of each other and... You know. I don't play one game constantly. High 30s, low 40s, yeah. But, like, if I could get a, a, not a raid-sized group, but a dungeoning group, a full party to dungeon with, that would be fun to me. That's why I wanted to play Classic. I thought I'd get more people that I knew to play. But other people would get to 60 while I was in, still in my 20s because I couldn't play as much as them. And, like, there's no great way to cooperatively play when you have a massive level difference. Alright, now, hi. You're so pretty new trainer, aren't you? New fellow Pokemon. Hidden Machine, yes, HM6. Which is Rock Smash. Which I'm gonna give to Bidoof. Bag. Rock Smash, give to B Doof. And I'm actually gonna put Bidoof in the front of the party now, I think. Because Shinx in this cave is not a good idea. Why do you remember this guy? I'm pretty sure that hiker model has been used in about three different games. Or three different generations. Jew dude. Bidoof. Like I think it was used in Gen 3, 4, and 5. Yeah, oh, you're using defense curl. Well. That means you're just at baseline defense because my Rock Smash removed some of your defenses. Super effective. Used Mud Sport. I don't get the you. I don't get Mud Sport because you know it's electricity power weakened, and both Ground and Rock, which are the types of Pokemon that can get it, are immune. Actually, maybe Rock is lessened, not immune. Ground is immune though. What have you got for me? Well, we accept, we'll accept challenges anywhere. It is, it's what we do. Ugh. Forearms. I need to start actively working out again. Oh no, I hit growl. <laughs> With my finger. Bidoof's attack fell, yep, Bidoof used Growl too. Growl strategy is not great. Oh, wow. We lost a bunch of people. Tackle. Aren't you doing six damage? How much am I doing as Bidoof? I think I'm doing more.
Also, let's lessen damage from type that enemy is, not AI is insanely good. Um, I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I need to shift this. So we're gonna stop recording. 